Hello, hello, this is Amigo Jeppe, and today we are going to play some Evolve Shaman with the Jade. The Jade is very good to evolve our minions into better minions. What is better than Jade? Minions that have Death Rattle, Battle Cries, or any other text they have written on them. So he's gonna play Northshire Cler Cleric. So we, we are going to play the first game against a priest. So is he a Reno Priest or a Dragon Priest? We don't know yet, but he's using Power Word Shield to draw a card. So we cannot summon anything yet, but I think I'm gonna go with my Manatai Totem here. I hope he doesn't have Shadow Warp Pain. So yeah, this deck goes around evolving your minions into better ones, like your typical Evolve card for one mana, your Masters of Evolution and the Lostus Illusionist, a card that nobody is using even though it's very good, but it's very punishing if you're playing against a priest that has Shadow Warf Pain. If you play this card and he's using Shadow Warf Pain, you're just gonna cry. So we're gonna go with Thing from below because I don't want to summon minions that give him the Northshire Cleric to draw more cards. So he's using Shadow War Death on that, okay, so that saves my Jade Chieftain, or my Isle Blackhawk, and he's gonna trade that, and he's gonna summon, okay, Twilight Well, so he's a Dragon Priest. So Dragon Priest resolves around a lot of dragons, but he also uh, goes around with the draws, so if we manage to not give him a lot of draw, we should be fine. So Jade Lightning, no, we cannot kill anything. Only the two free, but we will spawn a 1-1. One, one. So we should go with Jade Spirit, and that should be very menacing. I I I will give him a card, but what could you do? I really need some board presence now. I cannot let this board unchecked. Okay, he's oh he has the courage to play Bla Brand Bronze Beard. Does he have a battle cry minion? No? Does he have it? Injured? No, another Northshire cl Cleric. So he's gonna draw two cards. So he's gonna have five cards. The way to defeat a Dragon Priest is to not let him draw a lot of cards with the Northshire Clerics. Because he, because the other condition for him to draw cards is with the, with the Draconite Operative. Okay, we're gonna devolve this first. Because I'm very afraid of Bran. And we're gonna get three cute murlocs and a two free that I'm gonna use my jade lightning on. So now he has three one ones and one free, and I have a board clear with blood mage Talnos. Good, good, that's good. Oh, blackwing corruptor, that's bad. So he's gonna use that and another twilight whelp. Can I get my Lightning Storm? If I get my Lightning Storm, I should be okay here. Hmm, or should I go with Thing from below? No, 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 that, that, that's not very good. Okay, we got our lo Lotus Illusionist into... Hmm, I should go with Blood Mage Talnos into Maelstorm Portal into Jade Claws to kill that Blackwing Corrupt. So what do we get here? Okay, a 0-4 Taunt, good. That's a very good card for Evolve. So we're gonna go with the Jade Claws and trade for that. So, okay, I'm ending my turn now. I think in this deck we should use some healing, like Healing Wave or the new card from Mean Seeds of Gadgets and Water Speaker that heals you for six. Because Healing Wave will rotate out. Oh, yeah, I also have in this deck Azura Drakes. So even Azura Drakes will go into the Hall of Fame, so we need a substitution for that. Okay, he's gonna play a Blackwing Technician. Okay, that's not very scary yet. Into... Okay, Cabal Talon Priest. He's gonna... Okay, attack that, because it's only a 0-1. Okay, now that's a 4-4. We could brand Bronzebeard... No, we should trade the 3-3 free into the 1-1. One one. With my Jade Claws, I should attack... No, 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 no. I should attack with my Jade Claws, the 1-1. One, one. No, I'm gonna attack with my Jade Claws, the 2-1. So now we should play Lotus Illusionist. No, 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 no. 
I should attack with Blood Mage Talnos also to see what kind of card could I get. Because maybe I could get something to evolve even further. Okay, I'm gonna trade in that. Okay, Pantry Spider. Should I play Brand Bronze Beard Pantry Spider and get four uh, free four drops? Hmm. I mean free pro four drops because I will get free spiders and I could evolve. No, I think Brand Bronze Beard could be good in an other situation. So let's see what could we get. Okay, a Totem Golem. A uh, 5-4, four, a 4-3 four that gives us a card, a 3-3, free free. we don't have secrets, Arcanine, and a wolf. Uh-oh, shut up. Uh, that 1 mana card, Potion of Madness. Damn, he had that in, in, in his hand. So he's gonna get a free 2, and he's gonna trade for the golem. Okay, he's gonna kill the 5-4, the Corsair. The Naga Corsair. Okay, he's gonna get his free too. And now he's gonna... Gonna what? Okay, Nether Spice Historian. Oh, that's also a draw mechanic for the Dragon Priest. So, if you're facing a Dragon Priest, at all costs, prevent him from drawing a lot of cards. If he draws a lot of cards, he could have a lot of dragons and a lot of power. But... Until now, I've managed to prevent him from drawing more cards than he should draw. Okay, we have a Shadow Wolf Pain. We could kill the free 2. And we should summon our Jade Chieftain. Or we should summon our Thing from Below or and Lotus Illusionist. I think I'm gonna go with Lotus Illusionist and Thing from Below. Hmm. But maybe he got a legendary from the Nether Spite Historian. Oh, he's even reading the Lotus Illusionist. I, I just love it when new players or older players just see new cards and then try to read them because nobody uses these cards at all. It's just very fascinating. What does this card do? Is this a new card? Did, did, uh, did the new expansion come out already? Oh, top deck. Top deck hex. Top deck hex. That's just dirty. Okay, we're gonna trade into that, and we're gonna sh go face and see what 6 drop do we get. Carol Balash. Uh, perfect. We could evolve that into a 7 drop if we get our Evolve or Master of Evolution. And we got an Azura Drake. We even have the combo with the Jade Chieftain and Bran. Hmm, Herald Volage, maybe you will be good in the next expansion. Maybe. Oh, Ren Blackhand. If you're holding a dragon, destroy a legendary minion. Hmm, he had that in hand. Interesting. And he's gonna heal up. Interesting. So we could Bran here into double, but I'm afraid he has Dragonfire Potion. And until I see that Dragonfire Potion, I will keep my Bran and my Jade Chieftain in hand. We should trade here. And we should also summon Barnes and see what kind of one drop we would get. Hmm, so we get a uh, Jade Chieftain. Oh, I wish I had an Evolve now. Oh, come on, now you're teasing me. I draw the Evolve now. That's just teasing. Okay, he should play, uh, okay, Twilight Drake into, okay, Bookworm. He's gonna kill my Barnes. And he's gonna kill my chieftain because he knows I'm Evolve Shaman. I have the Evolve cards. And now this is gonna be very dirty. We're gonna play our next Azura Drake into Lightning Storm. Oh yeah, this is gonna be very fun. If we can clear the board, we're gonna be perfect. And we clear the board with the 6, 5 and 6 damage. Perfect. And we're just gonna summon a totem and end our turn. Our next card is Aya Blackpaw. Perfect. Now we have two Jade Chieftains and Aya Blackpaw in hand and Evolution. Okay, another Nether Spite Historian. This is getting tricky. I hope he doesn't get another Legendary. I don't have an Hex. I still have one, but it's in the deck. So we should summon our Jade Chieftain now. But I don't want to get my Jade Chieftain killed by the... By the Dragonfire Potion if he has. Okay, Dragon into Primal Fusion. What a combo. Even though he doesn't have totems, the Dragon still gets a buff. 
because whenever you pay a spell on that minion it gets one plus one but top deck a jade lightning into a 4-4 trade that and just gonna trade trade and just gonna summon another totem and hoping it's gonna be a healing totem hmm perfect so now we get our master of evolution so now I'm tempted to use Aya Blackpaw and Master of Evolution into a perfect 7 drop. Hmm, I should get something very interesting. Okay, Dragon Operative. He could get my Hex and that worries me a lot. Or he could get a Jade Spirit that's not very threatening. A Maelstrom Portal, another Jade Claw, Devolve we already used that. Uh, or um, another mana type totem. Okay, he played an Azura Drake from the Nether Spite Historian, so he didn't get the legendary. Okay, now we have our hex. Should we hex the 5 6? Or should we just kill it here? And just summon our Jade Chieftain? So we're gonna kill the his Azura Drake. And we should trade or just go face. I think we should trade here. That 5-6 looks very, very menacing. Let's see what should we do here. Okay, we should trade. But we will lose a lot of minions. But we're gonna go face. And now we're gonna use our Masters of Evolution on... On our Jade, because the Zura Drake is very important. No, I think we should just eye a black pot here. Masters of Evolution could be useful in the next turn. So now we have a 5-5 five, five and a 5-3 and a on the board. And another Masters of Evolution in hand. So what could he do here? He needs a Bork here. That's definitely true. So he could... Does... Oh, he top decked the Masters of Evolution. From the Dragon Knight operative. Top deck. Very funny. Into a 9-7 Death Rattle minion. Whoa, that's interesting. That's the beast. And the death rattle is it gives me a free free minion on my side of the board if I can kill it. But Are I think I should hex me? that. Okay, and Vermist Agent. Interesting. And he's gonna heal himself for two. And now we should just heal the two four. We should hex that nine nine. Trade into that, trade into that. Masters of Evolution are 5-5. Five, five. Into a 6-5, of course. And we're gonna draw another card. Well, I'm afraid we're drawing too many cards. Because he didn't trade for my Manatite Totem. And that Manatite Totem did a very good job of giving me a lot of cards. He He's seriously lacking in card draw. But I've prevented him from not drawing so much. Okay, Azura Drake into what? Dragonfire Potion. No, that's 6 mana. Into... Holy Nova? Okay, Holy Nova for free. Holy Nova! And now we get a 6-6, six, six, a 6-2, six, and a 4-2 minion. So with Jade Claws, I think this is victory. Now we're just gonna trade here. No. I'm just gonna play with him. Oh man, I had lethal. Well, missed lethal. No, no, no biggie. We should summon our J Chieftain and our J Claws with a 7-7 seven, seven and an 8-8. Eight, eight. Evolve and uh-oh. BM. BM. I just BM. Well, that's not very good. Well, please don't have a second Holy Nova. Please. I was a good boy. I always, always let my opponent lose with dignity not bm this is the first time i went to the dark side okay ev and everything is awesome well that was good if, if he if he had a board so yay gg we won perfect Whew. even though i bm Whew. that's very very nice well we're going to rank 16. okay our second match for today is gonna be against a warrior so we're just gonna Okay, we have Jade Lightning, Manatai Totem, Jade Claws if he's a pirate, and we have Evolve in hand. But we don't have minions to spawn a lot. Oh, I know a guy. Hmm. So, is he Control Warrior? Well, it's a rare seeing Control Warrior in the ladder. But, 
it's only it's it's very pleasant to see one so we're just gonna go with J class here to establish a board and next turn I should just totem here he could use his fiery war axe for a 1-1 one, one. it's not very good but still okay fierce monkey from created by I know a guy interesting so we should totem and we got our own towns and next turn we could jade lightning if he doesn't play anything very frightening like that the frauding berserker is very annoying and very powerful hmm yep jade lightning that as soon as possible just gonna jade lightning that goodbye frauding berserker welcome to to jade golem so now what could he do so he played Froving Berserker and he has a I know a guy does control warrior play Froving Berserker because a lot of control warriors do play I know a guy and really gadget here well I certainly need another miracle now oh top deck another jade lightning well this is not his day just gonna trade that and just gonna go face with the 1-1. One, one. I could evolve, but I only get a 2-2 two, two, and a 4-4. Four, four. But with Master's Re Evolution, I can get a 4-4 four, four, and I could... Oh, Eater of Secrets. Interesting. Why, why, did he, why did he play that? Why does he have that in his deck? There are a lot of secret hunters. Secret mages. Uh, today, did, did he face a lot of a lot of secret mages or secret hunters? Maybe I'm just gonna evolve. Uh, two, two. Oh my! I should evolve again. Oh, oh! Look, the other brother Doomsayer that that sets his attack to seven at the start of my turn and a two one and a three three. Nice. So what could he do? He should kill that 07 because it will become a 7-7. Uh, seven, what, seven. No. what will you do, my friend? Ravaging Ghoul. Interesting. Interesting. But now I can kill your 4-2 with my Jade Claws. And he's gonna... He, is he gonna play another town? Validated Doomsayer. Card that never seen play in, in ladder. But... It's still a very good image to see when you evolve a card. Now we have a 7-6. And we should Azura Drake for a card. To see what we get. Okay, Bram Bronzebeard. We're just gonna kill that. that. And hope we get another Town Totem. Perfect, perfect. Now we have a 7-3 and a 4-4 on the board. So he's not looking very good. He should brawl here, and this is a brawl bait attack here. I, if I can make him brawl here, then I could establish a better board the next turn. Protect the king? Oh my god, this is Taunt Warrior. This is Taunt Warrior, no? Is he gonna play a bolster? Is he gonna play bolster? Please, 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 play bolster, please. Is he gonna play bolster? Okay, sparring partner into bolster. Into bolster, nice, nice, very nice. Oh, so validate is doomsayer every turn. He's gonna change. Interesting. So if I, I'm gonna play my Zura Drake. Maybe, maybe we can get storm. We don't get storm. So we should trade or evolve. Again, we should evolve again, or should we trade? Well, one Azura Drake is gonna go and trade for a free free. We should summon another totem and then evolve again. That could be useful. Yep, this board is just too tempting to not evolve it. Okay, now we oh we got Hogger, we got a Wind Fury minion, we got Reno Jackson, we got. Uh, the Jules Scarab and Flame Tun Totem. Nice. Even though it's on the other side. I wish Flame, to Flame Tun Totem what was now? 
between Hogger and Reno Jackson. Well, what can you do? It's not about the placement, it was about evolving. So he's gonna trade face. Uh oh, he's gonna brawl. Okay, he had brawl in hand. Very interesting. So, who's gonna win this brawl, ladies and gentlemen? It's gonna be Reno Jackson, that lucky bastard. Even though he's gonna go to wild, he still wins every brawl, every game. Okay, just gonna hit face. We're gonna summon our Maratai Totem, our Jade Spirit, and we're gonna summon another Totem. Okay, healing Totem into Barnes, perfect. Now we have a great, great board. Even though I use my both Devolves, we can still win this. Because this Jade Evolve Shaman, even though you will fail in evolving most of the time, you won't get very significant good cards because your opponent always forces you to evolve because you need a lot of good cards. So we're just gonna trade here, gonna hex that. We should summon our Lotus Illusionist here. It's just too tempting to summon another, to get another 6-6. Six, six. Okay, oh, another hex, perfect. If he plays even Groma Shell Scream, or dare I say it, will, will we see uh, Varian Rin? Because he played Bolster. Okay, Blood Hoof Brave. Very good. Into. Okay, first is Manipulator, my Reno Jackson. But why? Why would you face this man manipulate my Reno? Well, that's interesting. We're just gonna devolve. So he's gonna get the 2 2 and a 5 6. So he got a better minion now. Whoa, he got a better minion. So, please, Lotus Illusionist, what could we do? Damn, son, I a black paw of all cards, a jade card, and even a legendary one. <laughs> Interesting. Well, cannot argue with that. We're just gonna play our another mana type totem here, and just gonna ramp it up with a lot of juicy, juicy cards. So, what could he do here? He could brawl again, but I can establish a big board very fast. Okay, Ancient, Ancient of Blossoms, so this one, this card was useful if he buffed it with the Grimmy Goons buffs. How much? So we're just gonna go with, hmm, exit or trade into it. We could also trade, but I don't see a very sufficient trade you here, because so we're gonna lose a lot of minions, a lot of them. Hmm, I should hex that. Yep, and just a go face again. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm, okay, J Chieftain again. And the next card is. Pantry Spider. Okay. So, what could he use here now? We still have another Aya Black Ball in the deck. Gurabashi Berserker. Public Defender. Well, that could be useful if you have hand buffs. And you can make it 2-9, uh, 4-11. We should Lightning Storm here. I think we should Lightning Storm into trade with Aya. But first, let's see what kind of damage will our Lightning Storm do. Okay, 4 and 3. Okay, we're just gonna trade our Aya. Or should we sacrifice our Aya? No, I, I, I don't want to sacrifice Aya. Maybe he has another brawl, brawl, maybe he doesn't. So we're just gonna trade our Reno Jackson and we're gonna summon our thing from below. And we're gonna go face with the J Spirit and end our turn. Well, it's still looking very good, but I have too many cards in hand. And maybe I did a misplay here. Just like the Northshire Cleric. Uh, combo or no combo uh, warning don't play two cards that draw other cards you will get milled eventually okay here's our Aya Black Paw we should trade that and trade everything in he's he's gonna get a little bit of armor not much for armor but not very significant and we're just gonna go face and end our turn again come on 
We should win this. Uh oh. We have one more card. This is not looking very good. I wish I didn't play the second man mana tie totem. What could he do now? Okay, war wind. Into North Sea Kraken. Interesting. Very interesting. North Sea Kraken. Ne never saw that coming. So we're gonna trade our Ira Black Paw. We're gonna get the 6 6. We should summon the other Aya Black Paw. Because next turn we will have Lethal with that. Okay, perfect. So if he doesn't brawl now, and I'm gonna take 3 damage. And next turn I'm gonna take another 3 damage. And I think this is victory. Okay. He's gonna fiery war axe, but we have a town. He's just gonna armor up, but 5 plus 5 plus 6 equals 16. And we have won this match. Barely, because I played too many times, so I will never do that again. I was too excited. Well, this was a very good and interesting brawl. I mean, match. Evolve Shaman is very good. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment and a like. And if you want to see more or help the channel grow, you can subscribe to Amigo JP. Until then, don't forget to have fun, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!